Welcome to the e-learning for Sage 50, on the topic of sales order. Sales orders allows you to record a customer's order now, but have the general ledger accounts updated at a later time, when you record the sale by invoicing the client. This topic demonstrates where and how to enter sales order information including discount, terms, delivery mode and Sage 50. This is a sample of a sales order, and the following are details that you usually see on a sales order. Supplier information. Full customer information for reference including address. A serialized order number together with the date and credit term. For supplies, there will be the appropriate description of the supply, the quantity, unit price and the discounts if any. Thereafter, the total amount at the bottom. Now, let us show you how easy it is, to administrate a proper sales order in our system. Create a new sales order, in Sage products, you may have different sets of order numbers for different businesses if you so choose to. Notice the important serialized order number and also the date. Select the customer. Note that all the necessary information is already filled. If there is a related quotation, you can select the quotation and all the details will be copied over. Assuming there is no related quotation entered. Next, select the product or supply, the quantity and the price. Apply any discounts if applicable and then review the GST code applied. If your system has been set up via the GST wizard, the GST code will automatically be populated for the conditions of this sales and you will notice that the amounts are all calculated automatically. Once complete, save the sales order. Here we will print a sales order, and we review the format available. If you are on the move, you can create a sales order via Sage Connect, using your mobile devices as well. Thank you, and have a nice day.